Welcome to an Inflow Technology demonstration video of the control documents process using Inovia 2019X. The goal of this video is to show the end to end process of how to create a new controlled document and how to push it through its life cycle. We begin by logging into Inovia. You are taken to the home page. Start off by verifying that you have the correct credentials to perform your desired tasks. For this exercise, you will need to be in the system with a leader role. Notice in the upper left hand corner of the page, there is a 3D experience compass. The compass allows you to access four different quadrants of applications. In the north quadrant is My Social and Collaborative Apps. In the west quadrant is My 3D Modeling Apps. In the south quadrant is My Simulation Apps. And in the east quadrant is My Information Intelligence Apps. For the control document process, we click the north quadrant of the compass, which then brings up My Social and Collaborative Apps. Next, you click on the Open Quality Document application. Once the application opens, you'll see the following tabs on the left side of the screen. My Changes, Impact Questionnaires, Documents, Contacts, Controlled Print Report, and My Periodic Reviews. We can discuss these tabs in detail during a training, but for this demo, we will focus on the tabs under Document Control. Under Document Control, you'll have the option to select Documents, Contacts, and Control Print Reports. The screen is defaulted to the My Documents dashboard, where you'll see all documents that you've created in the system. Along the top, you'll see a tab for Templates and My Implementations as well. Templates will be any controlled document template you've created, and My Implementation is to show you any controlled documents that you have run through the full controlled life cycle. For this demo, we will begin by clicking the hamburger icon in the upper left corner and selecting Create New Controlled Document. A new screen will open for creating a new controlled document. If a controlled document has been created already, you're able to select that template here to expedite the process. We will be manually creating the document by entering a document name first. As a note, only items in red are required to be filled out at this time. We will also select a category for this document before going on to the responsible organization attribute. Once the category has been selected, you'll select a responsible organization. These were pre-populated in our demo environment to expedite the process. You will then enter in the number of months required for the periodic review interval and then select the SME for this document. Again, SMEs were pre-populated in the environment to expedite. Once you're finished entering all required information, click the OK button to create the new controlled document. Once the document has been created, you'll see a pop-up message that verifies that the document was successfully created. You will then be taken to a screen where you can choose a file to attach to this controlled document object. Once you've selected a file to attach, click OK. You're then taken to the new controlled objects process steps page. The Process Steps page will guide you through the lifecycle process of the new controlled document. There are many tabs on the left side of the screen. The top tab will be the Properties tab of the document. 
The Change tab will be a list of all change orders associated with this controlled document. And the Content tab will be any content that is attached to the controlled document object. The Collaboration tab is where people can collaborate and share information on this controlled document. And the People tab are there to have the ability to make changes to this controlled document. That is dependent upon their role. In order to expedite this process, we will go through the remaining tabs during a training. As we look at the process step screen, we will notice that the first two items were already finished when we created the control doc. You're also then able to re identify reference documentation and add implementation organizations if needed. In this video, we will move to the next mandatory task, which is to start the document peer review. We click the Promote button under the Actions column to move this document into the in-work state of the lifecycle. You are now in the Peer Review section of the Process Steps. Here, the first step is to create a change order for this document. We click the star to create a new change order. You'll see a screen pop up on the right side, which is to create the change order. You'll have an option to select a change template if any are created to expedite this process. Again, in our example here, we will manually create this change order. The first two required attributes are pre-selected for us already, so we can move into the description attribute. Once this has been filled out, you'll notice responsible organization is already populated. We then move to add a category of change and severity for this document. Once these are selected, you optionally choose an approval list. This was pre-created route template we made to expedite this process. The change order is now ready to create by clicking the OK button. You'll be taken back to the process steps page where you'll need to approve the CO. You begin by clicking the CO or change order icon under the related data. The CO will open in a new screen with its own process steps. You'll notice that many items are already green since we entered all this information when we created the CO in the previous step. You also have the option to perform a change impact assessment in this screen if you need to. We will move to the Start Implementation Planning task to move forward. We click the Promote icon in the Actions menus. This promotes the CO to the in-work stage of the lifecycle. We are now in Step 2 of the process steps. Here we have the option to provide a due date for change completion and assign change implementation reviewers. Since these are optional, we will move to the next mandatory step and start implementation approval for the CO by clicking the Promote icon in the Actions menu again. We are now in Step 3 of the process steps and will need to assign a change implementation reviewer to the CA. We click the pencil icon in the Actions menu, which will then launch the change action for this CO. We will add a person to the CA and then click OK and then Done. This task has now been fulfilled and we can move to the starting the document approval by clicking the promote icon in the actions menu again. This moves us to the fourth step in the process step screen where we will need to approve the approval task for the CA or change action. We click the Approve icon in the Actions column and then enter in a comment before clicking Approve.
This moves us to the fifth step of the CO process, where the CO has to officially get approved. We open the CO by clicking the CO icon in the upper right section of the screen under the Change Information heading. Once the CO opens, you'll see a red square in the upper left corner near the CO name. This is a pending approval route that needs to be approved in order for the CO to move forward. We will continue by clicking the route. The route will now open in a new screen. Next you will click on the task within that route in order to open the approval task. Once this task loads, you will be able to click the approve icon in the top left. After entering in your comments, you click approve. The task has been finished now. Let's close this window since we no longer need to do anything with this task. Let's also close this route screen since the route has finished at this point. You're back to the CO process steps page where you'll want to refresh the page to show what progress you've made by finishing the route approvals. The process steps page will be in the sixth and final step which will allow you to close the CO. In order to release the CO, you must click the Promote icon in the Actions menu. The CO has now finalized and you can close the window to be taken back to the Process Steps page of the original control document. Let's click the Refresh button to show you where we are now in the Control Doc Process Steps. You'll notice that all process steps have been completed now and are all, are all in green. The CO process has taken care of the rest of the control document process and the control document is released.